I, I'm the last presenter, and I'm just going to be real quick so we can get out of here. But I want to just talk a little bit about wood burn. And uh, mainly, I'm trying to gear it toward uh, some of you newer guys that might want to try it for the uh, second quarter challenge. And you really have two, two types of wood burn. the less than $10 stick one. And these come in like, this one's an 18 watt, or I couldn't find it. I have one that's like maybe 25 watts. And they have little tips that screw in to the end. And I've got some of those in here. Is that about the same as like a well or soldering iron? Yeah. Uh, it probably well, is. I don't know why the watch is those, different. I've, I've done that. The soldering iron is that long. And so you're working with something that, that like oh, that's like the pencil instead of the eye. You got a camera? Yeah, yeah. still works, sure. but you, you're it's much less. Okay. Long. These are some of the tips that will come with one of these kits for like 10 bucks. And you have like points. You have these two here, which are really for shading. And I've done a little bit of shading, but you really need to be careful when you do that um, and, and do a test on some other piece of wood because you can, uh, especially if it's too hot, you end up burning and not, not uh, shading the wood. And then there's another one that's kind of a knife point. That's a real nice one for doing textures uh, and coloring. Um, but that, that is a good way to get started is just get one of these and they'll come with these points and you can do some really neat stuff with them. Then, or you can go up to uh, one of these um, more expensive units that has a variable uh, heat. And this one I have, eh, you make your own points uh, using wire, uh, the nichrome wire. And then what I do is sometimes I'll take and flatten it and file it and make a sharp point like that one. Um, I also have uh, different points. This one is like a spoon. That's, this is one that you would do shading with. Uh, this is one I just made for making lines. This point here, I took a piece, I doubled it over because I wanted to make a bigger uh, mark. And that's what I use to texture that piece there. And then I also have a coil there. And uh, what I do is I use a 4D uh, finishing nail and do four wraps. <clears throat> and with the gauge wire I use, I end up with almost a perfect square coil. So I can do a a basket weave type pattern if I want to. And then these other points are just straight. I'll pass these around so everybody can look at them and compare them. And uh, it's just, it's a good way to, um, to create some contrast and color. I've got a couple pieces here where I've done it. This is one where I did the, uh, the basket weave. Uh, it really wasn't fast but I used the coil and you get a real dark uh, uh, tone. That's no paint on that. That's just the burnt wood. Yeah. The one thing about the, the iron, um, if you get a cheap wrist net to turn, you, 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 you can adjust the temperature that. there. I, yeah. I, I do that when I'm doing stained glass. It works yeah. fine. Yeah. But, uh, and these come in, I think, different products. Yeah. Probably the biggest ones are like 30 watt or something like that. So if you needed, uh, instead of spending 150 to $200 for one of these, buy two of these at two different wattages if you just need different temperatures on your probe. Now this piece here, I did kind of like what I did there. I didn't want to get a solid black like that. I just wanted to kind of darken it a little bit so I, just did little dots and left some of the wood in between. And then of course, uh, I, I couldn't bring it 
because my wife took it. <laughs> it's a brooch I made for her, and I used the shading tool on that, and it, it really uh, was a good example of that. But uh, I really like that coil uh, for doing, uh, if you really want to uh, make a contrast, uh, use that, use the coil. Kind of makes you use the middle. That is good old uh, General Finishes milk paint, which is not milk paint, it's latex paint. Um, and the reason I had to do that is when I burned that, the burn, uh, there was like sap in the wood and it boiled and it came out and marked the inside. So I had to, had to paint the inside of that one there. But, you know, if you don't have a burner, you know, try one of these and just experiment with it. And you can do some neat stuff. You like that one there, you could take that razor point and do lines and create a nice shading on a piece with that. Any questions? You have to be careful if you buy the expensive burner because you can buy lots of lots of fishermen and you never have enough dry flies. That's the same way that you do. <laughs> I have about 25 or 30 of these tools that I've used one and a half times. Yeah. I got a whole two Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they're, they're different manufacturers of these. They're ones that you have to buy the pre made point. And this one, you, you basically just buy the wire and make your own. You can also buy ones that are made to screw onto the two, but the coils, I remember seeing they had. Yeah, th this one is a Sorby, oh. and they actually sell the tips for this brand uh, here at Woodcraft. Yeah, I have the brand, uh, the razor tip. That's the one that's supposed to be selling here. They, they sell all the tips. They're, they're almost all the same. Yeah. But if you have a vice or something like that, yeah. and you can make your own points with the, uh, with the wire. wire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And one last quick thing. I know some of you guys um, uh, haven't done any painting. And uh, to give you an idea of um, where to get stuff fairly cheap, uh, Michaels, if you want to try it. Michaels has their own brand. It's called Artist Law. And you can get a tube like this. The price ranges from four to eight dollars, depending on the pigment. Some pigments are more expensive. But this is what I use for that green uh, base. Um, buy a brush, buy their level one brush. It's the cheapest one. Uh, they have a synthetic bristle, it's fairly stiff and it works real well when you're trying to uh, put the paint on your wood. Now, if you want to go to the Mercedes-Benz brand, you can go buy golden paint. They sell this at Michael's. Very nice paint. But this is one ounce, and it cost me about 8 or $9. And this is two and a half ounces, and it cost me 5 bucks. So it's, it's just a matter of economics. And, and sometimes it's half price. Yeah, if you get the coupon, <laughs> always and buy check the coupon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you want to try it, that's a good low cost way to get some colors and. Is it a base or you have to add water? No, I I don't add water. You can. You can. It's it's, it's a water base. If you want to add water, you can. But I usually don't. It's the it's the level two paint. What I use, they have level one, level two, level three. Level two is very liquid, uh, or level one is very liquid. Level two is a little thicker. And then the level three is like a traditional artist paint that is very thick. Um, but I find the level two works just fine, and I don't do any water down with it. And it's all water-based, so it cleans up real, real nice. When you're using the, water, the twisted wire the, and you're doing the basket, are you dragging it or are you tapping it? Just push. They just push and move. And I try to um, not have any uh, gaps between it. Now, some people, I think, 
you've seen Abilino Samuel, he's real precise with his and he leaves a little gap, but Abilino comes back and paints his oak with black paint usually. But uh, I usually try to not overlap or have uh, them touch so that you don't see any of the original leaves. Is it all random? No, I, I do. If you look at it, it's like a line and I just, I usually start at the edge and work my way in. How many hours is uh, this one of that? Uh, probably the burning on that was a couple hours. Yeah, I've gotten pretty, pretty fast. And I used to turn the heat up so that the point doesn't cool down too much between uh, touches. Yeah. You have a smoke extractor? I put a fan up and I have it blown away. So I get a, like a negative flow and it, it pulls the smoke far enough away. Yeah. But uh, I haven't set off the smoke detector yet. <laughs> um, but, uh, I, it's a wonder I haven't. 